expect fierce resistance from the Zandalari. It would be wise to set some traps to cover our flank. Keep going. I'll catch up. King Anduin Rin, I hereby request your surrender. You, an exile without a homeland. You dare invade these sacred halls and demand that I turn my kingdom over to you. The Zandalari built an empire that would endure for over 10,000 years, while your barbaric ancestors scaffold in the dead. We conquered this world. We brought it glory. You? You are nothing. Merely the latest in a long line of savages seeking to undermine our greatness. No, I will not surrender. Because no matter what happens here today, Zandala will stand long after your alliance has crumbled to dust. But if you are so eager to meet Bonsamdi, then step forward. The lure of death awaits. Zandala! Forever! So be it. Heroes, you know what must be done. My loyal subjects, show these outsiders the price of the arrogance. What's happening? The Alliance invaders have struck down our people. Aid me! What is the reason such a fuss about your majesty? Wolborn Samdi ain't gonna let no outsiders take your throne. Better watch your tool. Why are these invaders still resisting? You should have dealt with them by now, Von Sandy! You've been king a long time, Rastaka. Maybe too long. If you can't be getting the job done, perhaps that pretty daughter of yours can. You will burn for your clients! No! The darkness! It is too much to control! Go, my beauties! Go! This darkness threatens to consume my soul! I must be free of it! This power... This death... It is a curse, not a blessing. Oh, daughter, what have I done? Sandala can be a deadly place. My 
daughter. Have you done to me? Oh, he didn't tell you about our bargain? <laughs> Shame on him. Your Majesty, the Alliance dogs are escaping. What are your orders? After them! Bravery and sacrifice of heroes like Blade Master Telemon will forever be remembered by the Alliance. When next we meet. The attack on Zuldazar was a resounding success. The Horde is losing on all fronts. The Alliance should achieve victory in a matter of weeks. Yes, but at what cost? So many fallen, including Mechatork, whose life hangs by a thread. And I fear the death of Rastakhan will ignite a fire in the hearts of the Zandalari. He was a casualty of war, Anduin. A king must be willing to sacrifice himself for his people, without doubt or hesitation. I know that, Gen. As well as anyone. But our mission was to drive a wedge between the Zandalari and the Horde. Instead, we may have strengthened their bond. More than half the Zandalari vessels were destroyed in the initial strike, and the Horde fleet is in disarray. Their remaining ships cannot hope to stand against the Kul Tirin Navy. The Horde has never been more vulnerable. We should strike hard before Sylvanas hatches another vile scheme. Press the attack as the Zandalari mourn their fallen king? That would make us no better than the Banshee. She's the real problem here. I imagine she's already finding ways to turn this to her advantage. We must continue the fight. But as we push toward victory, we must never lose sight of who we are and what we stand for. Greetings, friend.
Jaina, is there anything you can do for Mechator? I'm sorry. The mechanism preserving his body is unlike any magic I have encountered. Our priests feel just as helpless. History will say we won a great victory in Zuldazar. Yet I find little cause for celebration. It was a costly battle. In many ways. But enough of that. How are you faring? You held off the Horde's finest warrior so our fleet could withdraw. You risked everything for the Alliance, Jaina. Still recovering, but... I'll be fine. You have enough on your mind without worrying about me. It is good to have you back with us, Auntie. I missed you. So much transpired while I was away. Anduin, I've heard rumors about an old friend of mine, Kalia Menethil. What happened in Arathi? There is much to explain. Some I still don't fully understand. But I'll tell you what I know. Thank you. Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. Thank you.